which you can have the right ingredients to be a, not only a professional racing driver but more than that a successful racing driver is your strength, your beliefs, your determination. It comes from your mind uh, activity. So it's a consistent battle to keep on going through all the challenges that you get. inside and outside the cir racing circuit, inside and outside the racing environment. It's a consistent battle between yourself, with your own mind, always searching for um, a way of motivating yourself and a way of uh, creating the right situation for you which will bring out the very best in terms of performance. Mm. So it is it has been and it is still my biggest um, challenge mm. in my own mind. Mm. Yeah, I think mm. a lot is request and is expect from drivers mm. and teams to perform mm. in a professional manner mm. at a high level. From the organizers, from the officials, from the governing bodies mm. of motor racing. Mm. And drivers and teams do try very hard and do perform to a high level mm. in order to have a, a good show for the public. Mm. On the other hand, my feeling is that uh, the same does not apply to the authorities, mm. where among those people, there are some good people, of course, but the structure of it is not appropriate to the demands of the modern Formula One. I believe Many improvements have been made in safety areas, in changing rules, but fundamentally the principles that are behind the decisions are not quite clear. Oh. And those situations only contribute to disputes and difficulties among us, uh, particularly Formula One, racing. Mm. Uh, so ideally it would be necessary for a more modern professional approach mm. to the um, modern Formula One. Mm. Mm. But of course this is something quite complicated political mm. and uh, and I guess in all activities worldwide where competition is high mm. where the interests are great 
there are never perfect organizations. Mm. The mm. problems are always mm. there. And it's only a question of doing the best you can mm. with what yeah. you have. Yeah, yeah. So I think that applies as mm. well. Mm. Mm. You see, Mr. Sakurai, there mm. are many things which are not right in our activity. Mm. Um, at the end, from the beginning to the end, the people who make the show are the drivers. <coughs> you have the teams, you have the cars, the team members, of course. Mm. But <coughs> the people who really matter, who really put the risk in their healthy, in their lives, the people who really do the job in front of all world viewers are the drivers. And uh, as I said earlier in the interview, we have to perform to a high level of professionalism and dedication where we give everything we have and people expect that we give everything we have. Mm. <clears throat> Whereby the other part of Formula One on motor racing, which is the organization, has such a situation where they just impose things, just they just establish things the way they think is right, the way they, they feel is appropriate, without being so technical or professional or systematic, like you say. And this is something that unfortunately exists in Formula One. And uh, as I said earlier, uh, many people can understand, can see those things, and, and they are able to identify the difficulties and the problems. Some people cannot. So they just don't understand. They don't know why, but they just don't understand. Mm -hmm. And and that, of course, is not contributing to the image of Formula One. It's not contributing to the quality of the show that we make mm -hmm. to to the television viewers, particularly. Mm -hmm. uh, nevertheless. I believe the natural instinct and the natural ability of drivers and, mm. and their personalities are are so big that they cover not only their their own side but they end up covering also the, the not so good things that are in Formula One, mm. making as a whole thing a good show. Mm. Okay. So fortunately, mm. there is a, a excess of dedication and, and determination and, uh, and desire to race in a natural way from drivers, mm. which contributes and covers to the negative things that we have in our mm. atmosphere, in our environment. Mm. I believe we have seen three different drivers winning in three different races, three different cars, three different engines. Of course, as, you, as we all know, although McLaren is no more dominant, no longer has McLaren have got an advantage on the engine side like it used to be in the past. Mm -hmm. So there is no difference in equipment. The performance overall car engine between the two biggest teams are just the same. And even so, I think uh, 
how in all three races I was leading. Mm. I only I only had a clear run in Phoenix, so I had a good victory. In Brazil was a hard race, was looking good until I had a misunderstanding with Nakajima. And also in Nimola was a short race for me. We had a wheel failure, which is unusual. But I was also leading, so as a result of it, we had three different mm. winners, mm. which is good for mm. the public and for the fight. <laughs> but um, although I think this year it will be very competitive between different cars, different drivers, I also believe that uh, if I can keep up with the work in the, in the right way with the team and develop the car and the engine, particularly this year, the engine has some problems. If we can get those problems fixed, if we can um, uh, improve the engine side as well as the car side, I think I have again a good chance to, to victory, to success. But nevertheless, it's going to be very competitive. It will, it's going to be the most competitive season in Formula One over the past three years. And this will bring a more light, a better light to the championship mm -hmm. and to the public. I think last mm -hmm. year mm -hmm. I experienced a difficult time where the team was fear of working was not positive or not was not constructive mm -hmm. due to the clash personalities mm -hmm. inside the team. This year the equilibrium has been established, re established mm -hmm. in the team and uh, my motivation and my pleasure is coming up and up mm -hmm. every race. Mm -hmm. So it is uh, my natural feelings are coming back oh. steadily. Oh, that's good. And that of course will contribute to to take out the best of me mm -hmm. during the competition times. So I'm looking forward to the championship, I'm looking forward to the races particularly. Mm. And um, I'm good mentally, I'm good physically. I, I feel I have a better motivation than a year ago. And I feel I have a, a great challenge ahead. Therefore, all we need is time. I think the cars are. Mm. The cars have got their own characteristics, mm. technically speaking, mm. Mm. as well the engines. <coughs> and uh, the package between engine and car has to be put together in a way mm. that provides you with the best performance. Mm. So perhaps. Uh, if apparently the level of wing of one car is less than the other, as a final result, you may find that that's not quite the case mm. because of body shape as well, mm. under under wing shape yeah. as well. So it's something that you only find out in the circuit, measuring top speeds, mm. acceleration mm. times, and lap time. And um, I think in the past we used to have much more wing than other people because we could afford, we had more power than other people. Mm. So if we have more power you get quicker mm. to the corners mm. and you need more than force to cope, which contributes to your mm. cornering speed as well. Yeah. Uh, if we look today we have relatively to the past a lot less wing I think similar to other cars, maybe a little bit more still in some situations, but it's difficult really to be sure.
mm. what is the same level. Yeah, yeah, of course. We only adjust ourselves to the same top speed, yeah, basically. Yeah. Mm. And then we see what lap times you can produce, how mm. consistent you can be. Mm. But as I said, I think in the end, overall, chassis engine performance this year is just very level. Mm. Engine performance are different between Renault, Honda, 10 cylinder, mm. and also V12 Ferrari. Mm. One engine has more bottom, the other more top end, mm. the other more mid range. Mm. But as a whole, as a result, all very similar performance, mm. I think. Mm. 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 We need uh, very much mm. as soon as possible to have um, uh, a better performance from the engine. Mm. We now are very level with other people. Mm. In some situations I think we have more more problems than some other people. Mm. In which means we need desperate, desperately for improvements. Mm. Both on the action on the present 10 cylinder engine, but as well on the next cylind next engine, the 12 cylinder. Mm. Of course, is a new engine with new potential to mm. to be developed. The yeah. 10 cylinder has more limited development mm. right now, and the 12 cylinder is going to be a, a more wide door mm. to go through and to develop, to go further mm. into the. No, this year. Maybe. We'll be testing it soon. In a month time, yeah. we should be testing mm. the, in mm. a car. Mm. But I don't know if we have uh, <coughs> the ability to race it. Mm. <coughs> it will depend on the testing performance, <coughs> on the results, both mm. speed and and, mm. and uh, reliability. Mm. To them, see the possibilities of racing or not. Normally, you could say yes, but uh, there are many things which are not clear at the moment, mm -hmm. uh, which could contribute to a change in my career. Mm -hmm. But uh, as, at, as at this moment, there is no decision, no commitments, in any direction other than try my best this year right now for the championship and uh, giving some time for some informations some decisions to be made both at McLaren on the chassis side uh, on the engineering side and also on the management side and also on the Honda side, some decisions that uh, are important as the future mm -hmm. is concerned. So before I have those informations, mm -hmm. as well some other informations from mm -hmm. other options, other possibilities in different teams, mm -hmm. there is no decision. Mm -hmm. I of course have experienced a great amount of success with McLaren Honda. Many victories, many records mm -hmm. and a championship. And therefore, it's a uh, atmosphere which I I love so much. Mm. But uh, to me, it's only important that uh, we have the ingredients to win, mm. or we fight at the right direction to win. If we don't have those ingredients, then I won't I wouldn't be able to motivate my mind mm. to do my job mm. to my best ability. So I'm waiting to see how those things develop and then mm. hopefully we'll have the right decision. Mm. I don't know yet. I don't mm. know what are the plans of Honda. That's what I'm waiting to hear. Mm. I know next year for yeah. sure they will be there, but uh, I don't know about uh, about how, how it's going to be after that. It's how difficult mm. to say. How do you feel about the 
engineering side of McLaren. He needs improvement. Mm. Good? It's not bad, of course. The car is a reliable car, it's a high performance car, mm. but uh, competition is pushing harder and harder and uh, mm. is requiring every, every year a mm. higher level of commitment on the engineering mm. side. The, the, the higher level of uh, innovation. And uh, and that is something that McLaren has to improve mm. in order to maintain mm. success. So you have uh, some interest about uh, Benetton team? <laughs> I think Benetton is a new is a new setup. Mm. Is a new perspective in the future of Formula mm. One. Mm. It's a major project that has been put together, a, a great investment with a, uh, a great brain behind from John Barnard mm. on the technical side. And at the same time, the challenge for those people to succeed mm. is very high. Mm. So uh, it, it is one of the possibilities mm. in the future. Mm. I don't have dates, to be honest. I think I will, from now on, uh, just experience year after year mm. my feelings, my motivations mm. and my objectives mm. and uh, make my <coughs> plans this way mm. so I, I could race for many years still as well I could race for only a few years mm. in Formula 1 and that is something that uh, I believe I can keep open, yeah. keep completely open yeah. to my in my life, yeah. in order that I can have the best situation every year. Yeah. I think mm. that's why I say mm. that uh, I think I think I can keep open my options mm. now year after year, mm. in order that I can. Uh, I can understand and I can access better mm. my own desires, my own instincts, mm. my own objectives mm. as, as far as the future is concerned. And doing this way, I hope to innovate mm. all the time mm. my challenges. Yeah. I believe if I'm able to put myself in this situation mm. of innovation mm. year after year, mm. I can continue going up. Mm. Mm. And uh, of course, if I can continue continuously go up year after year, mm. the level of performance is going to be greater and greater mm. year after year, which is in a way fascinating for me mm. and is a, a great motivation for mm. me. Yes, I believe. Mm. I, I have experienced in many occasions feelings of being on the limits, mm. being on the limits of the equipment, Mm. being on the limits of myself mm. or of the circuit mm. at a given moment, at a given mm. place. Mm. And suddenly, because it was required to go a little bit further, mm. I suddenly found myself finding a new limit mm. for the machine or for myself. Mm. Even if that was a limit that I didn't think was there. Mm. 
And as I have experienced that many occasions, not only one or two times, but many oh. occasions, oh. I now know that there is always room for improvement. Oh. Even when you think or when you believe or when your vision oh. in a way tells you that this is the limit. Oh. Maybe what you see is not true. Oh. Maybe what you feel oh. is not correct. Oh. And maybe what you uh, smell oh. is not correct as well. So, you must keep an open mind oh. to receive those informations, oh. to receive more knowledge. Oh. You must keep an open ear oh. to receive new information. That way, I think you can steadily improve the limits of oh. man and machine. Oh. And that's what I believe. Yeah, I think... As part of your life, we all have a common, a common characteristic in the human mm. side, which is as you experience good things in life, mm. it's always difficult to stay without them. Mm. Mm. When you taste a good drink, mm when you taste good food, mm. when you see a nice view, when you find a lovely woman. Mm. As a human nature, it's a lot more difficult to to be without those things, mm. to live without those things. Mm. And apart from my profession, my racing, which is most done outside my country, mm. outside Brazil, most of the good things that I have experienced in my life mm. are there, back in Brazil. Oh. So even if I have a nice apartment here in Monte Carlo, mm. nice view, mm. nice atmosphere, I have even nicer things back home, back in Brazil, mm. to live with and to experience, mm. to share, mm. which of course are very attractive, mm. and very motivate for me. Therefore, that is where I like to be, mm. as much as I can. Mm. So, um, uh, you have no plan to be married in, in the future? No, no, I don't have. I think... Uh, life this is probably my my biggest decision to make in the future and uh, as today there are no plans mm -hmm. and uh, that means uh, you will not be married in driving the formula one Oh, no, no, not, not actually. <laughs> mm. uh, that is something that is unpredictable. Mm. Uh, it's a great decision, it's a big decision in my life. Mm. But it's something right now unpredictable. Mm. I just have no plans and I have no 
clear indications of it happening or not happening. I'm just uh, taking it as the time goes by and waiting. Something changed by year or so? Something. Uh, yeah, sure. I think, what do you want? Uh, oh, I think as you grow up, mm. as you experience life year after year, mm. you change. Mm. And your uh, wishes become clearer and clearer, mm. more and more important. Mm your priorities as well. Mm. Mm. <coughs> but as you are finding out mm. new things about your own life, about yourself, mm. you have to adjust mm. your lifestyle to those new mm. discoveries. Mm. Uh, and that happens with me, mm. of course. Mm. So, it's always pleasant to have your lovely woman mm. near to you. Mm. Doesn't matter if you are relaxing or you working. I think there are moments that your mind is what determines what is good for you. Mm. It doesn't matter if you're working or not. Mm. If your mind at the same moment you're working requires mm. uh, a little bit of care and a little mm. bit of uh, love mm. near to you. It's something that is in your nature mm. and, is, and is your psychological and your body requirements mm. in order that you can be more in equilibrium. Mm. If you are in equilibrium, you will be better mm. overall. It's a mixture of Italian, Brazilian, and Spanish. Oh. Brazil is a big mixture of yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. of uh, different mm. countries. Mm. I think the biggest colony, Japanese colony, outside Japan is in Brazil. Yeah. Uh, also, a lot of Italians, mm. Spanish, Portuguese, yeah. lots of people. So, <clears throat> very strong passion. Yes. Mm. yes. Latin, Latin American style. Mm. Sometimes, uh, uh, dance or free. Oh, sure. Mm. Yeah, we like um, mm. hot style of life. Oh, <laughs> yes, <we> yeah. <coughs> that's something that in Europe I miss a lot. Mm. Europe in, in the evenings, in the nights, mm. most of it mm. is very down, mm. it's very cool. Mm. In Brazil, we have good weather most of the year, warm country. Mm. So the tendency is for people go out mm. to be on the on the road. Mm bars and restaurants, uh, sea, the beach, everything. So there is much more life mm. in Brazil. It's mm. a lot warmer mm. way of life. Mm. And uh, at the same time we have lots of space. Mm. So you can have privacy at the same moment that mm. you can be with your friends mm. on your own. And um, it's a great country to live. Mm. It, pro it, it can provide you with all the all the good things that you like to have in life. Mm. Of course, we have many problems, social problems, mm. but as a natural environment, mm. um, we have anything we want mm. for a good life. Mm.
now you you, you go to church sometimes or very often? No, I don't go to church normally. I feel mm. unusual to go to church when there are many people. Only when there are no people, then I feel happy to be in church, mm. to be in peace. Mm. But um, I feel in peace with myself and I have uh, my beliefs. I have faith in God. Mm. And uh, I, I believe I have found a, a good way of life mm. through, mm. through faith in God. Mm. Interested about some interest about the Soviet movement, uh, the movement of boy, German, such such a. I think Frida is the, the basic. ingredient of life. Mm. Yes. To speech, to express, to choose. Mm -hmm. More than word is going this direction. Mm -hmm.
capability of inter interpret interpretation mm -hmm. of your of your eyes, mm -hmm. of your smell, of your ears, mm -hmm. of your touch. And you can almost experience anything in life mm -hmm. depend on the create creative ability you have mm -hmm. on your own natural feelings. Do you have, do you have, do you have some interesting, interesting about the art also? Painting or...? Uh, not really. No, no? Not really. I am basically a sportsman. Mm. And I am a... <coughs> I am interested in nature. Mm. That is everybody's dream, and uh, that's why um, you are the leader of in a Formula One world. That's the reason. <laughs> 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 as long as I know 
the people like I do Mr. Sakurai. I just respect their wishes and their desires on what they are aiming and what they are doing. So, in this case particularly, because of the because of the understanding between us over years ago when he was at Honda at that period, the good relationship and respect. In this case particularly, uh, I don't really need to understand. It's, it's enough. It's enough for me to know that he is doing it. He is working behind it. He's, he's challenging it behind everything. That's enough for me. In order that uh, I come here and we spend an hour or so together and uh, talk together and I give my points of point of views and uh, discuss things. I have <coughs> I have peace that uh, it will be used in a positive and constructive way. experience I have had uh, two, three, four years ago when we work close together um, has first of all demonstrated to me that he works very hard, uh, he's committed to objective, to a plan and he goes fully concentrate to it and and does whatever it takes to succeed and that basically is it's a great co quality uh, of course in the world that we live in many occasions when you try to do something nice something valuable positive for the intellectual side, not the material side, you are misinterpreted, misinterpreted. Mm -hmm. and uh, you can be used by people as well. But after all, this is life. And, um, as long you do what you feel is right, as long you do what you feel in peace, is fine. Well, I, I know one thing for sure. Whoever in the world particularly in Japan because I know I have lots of fans there. But whoever those people are, if they have found anything special through my activity, through the way I do it, and, and uh, the way I speak, the way I act, the way I do things, if they those people have been able to identify on myself something positive, something good. What they have done is to is to find exactly who, who I am because I basically I am a motor racing man, a sportsman, a man of uh, 
big belief that uh, if you believe on something, you can do it. And I am all the time exactly when I am inside. So those people who are my fans, they probably have captured what I am inside and not what I am superficially. And uh, therefore, they will never uh, find wrong. They will never be let down because basically this is what I am and it's not an a, a image that has been created or painted as something and is something else. I am what I am.